you ever been the new girl wherever you go i was a military brat so i was always the new girl at a school i went to 13 different schools there's only 12 grades y'all i've been to a lot of schools and i've been to a lot of workplaces when i became an adult because i job hop a lot i had i had a lot of jobs you guys i don't think i've ever stayed at a job longer than my longest staying job was two years and i don't even think that counts because i was the military and i was bound by contract <laughs> but i only even then stayed in the military for two years out of the three years i was supposed to stay in so i've always been the new girl and i don't care what the environment is monoracial black culture multicultural i have always received pretty privilege in all of them Everywhere I go. Everyone's French. Everyone's French. It's L'Oréal Paris. I know. L'Oréal Paris. <laughs> Even in churches, when we would go to new churches, it, I would always get attention. It's like instantly, as soon as I walk in the room, I can sense people either staring, talking, thinking, <laughs> but their eyes would be on me. Like, And for somebody as introverted as I am, a lot of the times it kind of, I don't really like too much attention like that, especially all at once. Like, I couldn't be a celebrity because I'm just not ready for all that yet. But as soon as you walk into an atmosphere when you're the new pretty girl, people will flock to you. I notice, like, women, if they're not a pick-me or a femcell, they'll usually want to attach themselves to you be their be your friend i've had a lot of situations where girls try to be my friend or wanted to hang with me people always want to claim you as their friend when they know you <laughs> when you're pretty men have bought me gifts as soon as they met me they didn't even know me longer than a week bought me a bunch of gifts but it's like in the midst of all of this the men, the male gaze and all the way they treat you. Meanwhile, the females are kind of like, mm, who does she think she is? Who is this new girl? You feel that energy from them real quick, real heavy, especially if they're the pick me type, especially if there's a guy in there that they like, that likes you or saw you. Ooh, they're going to make sure that that don't happen either. They will make sure that he don't see you if she can help it by putting her body in front of the guy. So he can't see you that happened to me a couple of times and it makes me laugh every time so i'm like really you think that <laughs> okay he's gonna see me anyway and, and i usually try to make sure he do i get up and i swing my hair out do i walk cute i'll do something to kind of make either her mad so it's simultaneously making him look because i'm just like this bitch thinks she got one <laughs> When I worked in customer service jobs, customers would hit on me all the time. I had regular customers that would just come just to see me. I've had stalkers and rumors that start about you real quick too. Um, you'll get labeled stuck up or fast instantly by the females, especially if you dress a certain way. Let's say you just started a job. People will know your name within days. Days sounds like a little too long. They'll know your name pretty darn quick. They'll learn your schedule. They'll figure out when your off days are, all of that stuff. You ain't even talk to nobody but like one person and somehow everybody knows your information. You'll notice girls start to copy you with hairstyles or something. I've noticed people copy my hairstyles. They'll copy my accessories, my outfit color coat nation or how I choose to wear things. I remember that back in high school. Cause I was, I had started wearing leggings with long dresses, like long fitted dresses with um, winter boots when I was in high school. And I remember people started to do that after I did it. I was like, okay. So I'm a trendsetter, I see. <laughs> I'm very quiet and I don't talk a lot unless I'm spoken to, but yet I'm an influencer anyway. So that just says a lot. That you're gonna figure out real quick the men who want to sleep with you managers it don't matter the janitor the manager the teacher if you're at school the the professors there's no chill even when you go into the store 
there's really no chill i don't if you're in the military there's no def definitely no chill i don't care how high of a ranking he is if he's attracted to you you're gonna know it people can't really hide when they're attracted to you they just can't they're gonna always want to be around you they're gonna find a reason to talk to you even if it's random it doesn't make sense they're gonna try to find something to talk to you about you'll get axed out a whole bunch of times i've been <laughs> axed out so many times people want to know your beauty secrets and all of this stuff like if you have smooth skin like are you drinking a lot of water what are you doing with your skin or what's that makeup and all of this stuff people want to know about you um because you you just stand out you don't have to be talkative or anything i literally don't have to talk and i people just know me it's, it is what it, it's been my whole life like this I remember one time I started a new job. Um, it was a male dominant, a male dominant job. And when I first walked in, I remember all the men saying, "Who is that?" Like, ooh, 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 people whistling and stuff. It was just extra. I call it the Beyonce treatment, <laughs> the celebrity treatment for real. White women or. Uh, I've gotten a lot of compliments from white women just so fascinated by how I look like like they'll see me from way across the room and be mesmerized by how I look so white women don't really give me a hard time it's usually unambiguous black women that only ever really give me a hard time with my beauty when I really think about it not even the Asians do not even the Hispanic girls do it's only unambiguous black women who always give me the cold shoulder or give me the, the roll their eyes thing when I come around. I can never just be their friend unless they're multicultural themselves. That's the only time I've ever been friends with an unambiguous woman when she's multicultural. If she's monocultural, just forget about it. I'm too white for her. I'm too stuck up for her. Like, I don't even try anymore because those I can just sense their energies. If you're from the hood or something, I can just sense you. So y'all remember how people treated Tyler when she first came on the scene? When you're new and pretty, like, pretty, pretty, and you benefit from, like, colorism, texturism, featureism, the hate is real. It's on a whole nother scale with it people especially if you fit a body type to trip i call it the triple threat but i feel like calling something a triple threat only narrows it down to like three things you could have multiple things going for yourself the triple three the triple threat having three things to trigger somebody just imagine having more than that so that's crazy people instead of wanting to level themselves up want to make somebody else feel bad like, it was almost instantly this girl got a hate train on her. And I'm like, what did she even do? She's the goofiest girl I've seen in a long time. Like, she, me and her had, like, the same personality, I swear. I follow her on Instagram, and she is so me. <laughs> so I can't help. And she's feminine, too. Like, y'all better stop playing. Just level up so you don't have to feel bad about then how the next girl's leveled up being pretty is not excuse me being beautiful is not for the lazy it's really not you have to constantly keep your maintenance up keep your hair up keep your body up all you have to constantly keep yourself up it's a, a lifestyle basically <laughs> if you don't want to be a basic betty you literally have to put in the work and that's just bottom line or you just going to be i don't know I guess there's nothing wrong with being a basic Betty if that's what you want to do, but just don't. There's nothing wrong with being a basic Betty. Just don't be mean to the girls who don't want to be basic Bettys. And that's all we're saying. Stop being bullies to those people. Stop treating pretty, pe pe pretty people like they're not human. Because they are. Just because you're intimidated by them doesn't make them any less human than you. If they're masculine... If they don't know how to be feminine, I'm going to trigger them because I'm feminine. So, even like, so it's it's only with ambiguous women too. Even if you're a masculine white girl or Asian, I don't even get the hate from them. So, it's only a black person thing, an unambiguous black person thing. I don't get it. 
but yeah y'all this is just a quick one um can you guys relate to being the new girl in places and environments what are your stories I might do a part two of this because there's so much to talk about on this one. I just wanted to get this video out. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening.